Hello everybody, I'm Ramses. And I'm the Vesper. And we're here for another edition of Vesper's Retro Reviews. We're gonna do a solo gameplay with both of us doing solo gameplays. That's right, it's gonna be a dual solo playthrough spectacular. And we're gonna do one of our favorite game shows of all time. We love Price is Right, at least old school. Barker era is the only era for us, but we can't play a game that old school because that wouldn't be fun. We want a fun retro edition of Price is Right, and we think this will fit the bill. This is gonna be the Price is Right 2010 edition as found on the Nintendo DS. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I played this game before. It really is a fun recreation of a more current era of Price is Right, but it still has that Price is Right feel. It has all the games, it has the pricing, the bids, it has the music, it has everything you want in Price is Right. And we're like, you know something, we're such big game show fans here, at least your co-host Ramses is. We love game shows here, we wanted to show you one of our favorites, and I hope you guys are ready. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We can't wait to get this started. So, Vester, anything you want to add to that? Yeah, I, I would like to doubt on the word fun, because I'm terrible at these game shows, even though I like to watch them. Yeah, watching them is great, but now you're going to be a contestant. But first, Ramses is going to get on the show here. So I'm going to give it a playthrough, and then we'll have Vesper do a playthrough, and we'll see who does better. Yeah, well, I'll probably lose. I'll go ahead and call that, because if you recall, I don't think I actually won any game except for Family Feud. Well, let's find out what happens, folks. So I'm going to... Click on the screen. Remember, this is a DS, so I gotta click on the bottom screen. Here, here we go. All right. So now, as you can see, we already tested it. We had to make sure the game works. So I'm gonna create a brand new character. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. We'll just pick this guy here. Yes, look at all these nice, wonderful options. So you can make yourself a... Oh, you can be Yop Yop or uh, anyone else. All right, I think see. Yop Yop's the defender, and it looks like he's kind of tweaky. So we have, you can be a male, there he is, or you can be a female, so of course... Uh, they both look like they're tweaking. <laughs> so you can pick... Look, they even have a code media or Oh heavy. my gosh. So you see the weight changing as you click on this, Yep, yeah, who cares? Alright, so we're going to pick a medium build, and now let's see what heads we get to choose from. Wow, look at all the heads. Alright, so we're going to pick... They're like, you want a fat head, a skinny head, a long head, a short head. To be fair, this is a DS game, and the fact there's actually any customization is actually quite impressive. Yeah, I agree. That they even give you options. All right, so let's see what hair you can do here. All right, so look at all the heads. So I, I think I'll pick a hat. Yeah, hats are kind of cool. And we'll like, and what do we got? Oh, that doesn't change the hair. Uh, oh wait, we have. Look at that. You can have all. Oh, oh hey, I like this guy. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, yeah, that, that looks kind of cool. What do you think? Kind of looks like my dad. <laughs> Well, we don't want that, right? Well, there we go. That's just like his name's hour. definitely not Yop Yop. <laughs> that guy looks a little uh, oh boy. Now that guy doesn't look. Uh, I think we'll go back to the original baseline. There we go. Okay, so now we want to see what bodies we can use here. Well, here's the kind of the funny thing. I do appreciate so it gets you into the game, to so, you know make yourself or a character, but still it feels a little overdone because. This game is super quick. It takes you longer to actually make your character than it does to play this game. Because <laughs> it follows the exact same format as The Price is Right. You start down on the contestant's row, you either win or you don't, and then you get to play a game, and then hopefully you can win on the wheel. If not, game over. That's it. It's just like Price is Right. You get one chance to win everything, and that's it. Whatever you... You go as far as uh, you win. That's that's how it works on the prize of right. So let's see what personality do I want. Am I shy or relaxed? I'm relaxed. I think I'm relaxed. Well, definitely don't get the one where it looks like he's freaking chasing the dragon. Is that this one? Yep, he's definitely chasing the dragon. Give me some more. I'm gonna go with the nice relaxed. All right, and now a name. It's me, Ramses. So don't forget. Are you sure it's not you, Yop Yop? No, not Yop Yop. I am. Rams. There we are. Okay. All right. I think we're ready to go. So now that uh, I hope that five minutes of your life uh, was returned here, uh, right? Yep. Well, like I said, it takes you longer to make your character than it does to play the game. You'll see here in a second. All right. Saving the game. Everything's always saving the game. All right, and here we go. So now they have three modes. Now we could do multiplayer mode, but it, I don't know if you can really do this on one DS properly, so we'll play separately. Now three strikes means you can lose three times and the game's over. 
Classic mode is you're on an hour long edition of Price is Right. When you win, you go on the stage. So we're gonna do classic. We're playing classic. Absolutely. Although it's kind of interesting, there is a multiplayer mode to this, but it's actually very easily done. Just cause the format the way set. Cause either you're going to win or you're not going to win, That's and there's it. no time limit. So there you go. That's it. So classic it is. Your goal is to gain as much money as possible by playing through one complete show. First, you'll come on down to Contestant's Row. So you have to win all four parts of this to get through the whole game. Get the That's a lot right. harder to do than you think. Win the price of the game, get the highest score on the wheel without going over. It's game over. But if you win, you're off to the showcase. And then it's showcase. Oh, and by the way, if you thought you was going to get Drew Carey at this time, nope, it's this guy. This is the announcer. Uh, Rich Fields, I believe his name. That was the announcer of Price Right at the time. Yep, but no Drew Carey. Nope, no Drew Carey in this game. Just the announcer, Rich Fields. All right, so let's see what happens when the show starts. There's a little flower in the bottom right. Yes, that's the Price is Right uh, flower. I wonder if it'll be the uh, Welcome to ah, there song if you make it to it. With a bid closest to the actual retail price of the item, without going over, wins the item and gets oh, to facing up on stage swing? to play a pricing game. I guess the host is standing over there instead yeah, of in front of him. All right, here we are. We're already into it. All right, so it's a spa. This beachcomber hot tub is a great way to relax your muscles. Comfortable design, quality construction and seating. Beachcomber hot tubs. But considering we've been watching on Pluto TV, freaking Price is Right, these prices that wow, we used to are uh, definitely going to be a lot higher nowadays. I'm going to go 3000 That seems like... I mean, I, I can't believe a hot tub is 3000 but like you said, we're not watching the 80s version anymore. This is the 2010s version. No, no, don't do 3000 Yeah, I'll do 3000 Do 2869 Teach that... No, wait. 2726 this item's actual 3,000 it is. Prices. There you go. Who won, folks? It would be me, too. No, My suggestion you, was you, just you, put a dollar above the highest. Oh, for real. All right, so you unlock achievements every time you win a round. Now, I don't know what the achievements does. I think it unlocks things. Probably more of those customizable yeah, things. Yeah, I think you can get more stuff. All right, let's All right, see. so that was round one. That's how it works in the one bid. That's called one bid. Punch a bunch. Oh, you got to find the $10,000 ticket. Oh. Well, considering this is a video game, there's probably an increased chance of you being able to do that. tag is wrong. You must decide if the actual retail price right, here we go. is higher or lower than the price on the tag. Each correct guess lets you take one punch on the big punch board. Let's see what you'll bid on. Cheerios, right? No, not Cheerios. It's... Remember those great old barbershop shaves? Kanye brings them back with the hot leather machine. Fit it over a can of your favorite shaving cream and enjoy it. Is the actual retail price uh, higher or lower? lower that thing looks like a piece price. of junk. Huh? I bet it's higher. You're right. You oh, want well. for the punch board. See, folks, this is why I don't do good at these the things. Item is... A wooden brass uh, accent highlight retro style modern feature telephone. Is the actual uh, price higher or I'm gonna go lower again. That thing looks like price. a piece of junk also. No, it's not. No, no, bad. because oh. the key word was brass. Yes, brass, brass, brass. Alright, what is this? Oh, an RC car. Uh, can rotate 90 degrees. Is the actual That's lower. Uh, land price and water. Higher or lower than this price. Wow, these things are The key word was wrong. both land and water. <laughs> Finally, our last item. Kim Candy Desk is more fun with this carnival inspired candy dispenser. Oh wow, well, it's a crane game. Higher or lower than Yes, I got that one. That one right. definitely looked like a piece of junk. Yeah, that's all right. Sorry, I got two punches. All right, that's not bad. If I can get the 5,000, I'll take it. So you know what this game is, folks. This is where there's dollar slips in these holes ranging from $50 all the way to 10000 They see all of that here? Yep, they actually show you in this game. They don't show you in the actual game on the TV. Oh, there's two chances for 10,000. Interesting. Yeah, there's actually two 10,000. So, how about that? All right. Uh, I'm going to pick. They always pick the corner last. So, my first one's going to be like, uh, oh, I'll punch right here. You got a slip for $50. That's terrible. Would you like to keep this slip or punch one more space? I'd like to punch one more space. You should keep the 50. And see what's inside. All right, we're going to go right here. You got a slip for $50. <laughs> I see. I was right. I knew that he was always going to choose a $50 one. Well, I won 50 bucks, folks. That's how it works on Punch of Punch. But the funny thing is, if you actually watch the show, most of the time they actually get like $500 or something like you're, you're like, I'm not sure if I want to 
give it up or That's not. true, yes. When it usually on the usual show you're gonna get some weird amount and you don't know what to do. Alright, but the point is I made it on stage, I played Punch a Bunch. I'm not a big fan of Punch a Bunch, I wish I got anything else, but it was Punch a Bunch, and there you go, I won fifty bucks. So now let's see what happens on this wheel here. I bet you're going to roll a dollar five on your it's first roll. <laughs> Guy? Really? The wow. To one dollar without guy. Going over goes to the showcase. I wonder if the guy below them is a gal. The That's a good question. Both your spins, you win one thousand dollars oh, and a chance, and a chance at extra, extra money. money. So good. Spin the wheel. All right, so now look at this. You can you can do this or this. Spin the wheel. Make a deal. Here we go. This is Thunderdome. You use the stylus here, and let's see. What you get? It goes the dollar. 35. You gotta spin again, yep. unfortunately. Would you like to spin again? Yep, I would like to spin again. It's oh boy. Here we go. Dollar 35, folks. Try again. Well, that was a good spin that time. Wow. I've yeah, always said, if you're going to spin it, just spin to win, man. Just <laughs> just go all out. It doesn't matter. Just see what Your happens. Total is... I didn't go over. 60. Stand Not good, but I didn't go over, so let's see what happens. That's right. All right, Guy is up. Oh, it's Philip. Guy Philip. Guy Phillips. Sis, yeah, I don't think you're going to make it. Buddy. I don't think I'm going to win with 60, but see, you already got 80, and that's that. Oh! 80. Yeah. Look at that. Wow, it actually does a little number touching. It's time to spin the wheel. I think he's spinning again for some reason. Why is he speaking again? He had 80. I don't know. Or was it 35 and it said 80? No, it was 80. I don't know why he spun again. You went over one dollar. Wow, guys, look at this. Proof positive that the computer's going to try to help you out by making the next person totally... Inept, yeah. Yes, I mean, there's just no doubt about it. All right, guys, well, we'll see what happens. Philip is up now. I want to see it get a dollar and re-roll it. <laughs> All right, 45. This is it. All right, let's Take go. Your second spin. It's your turn to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. I don't know. Uh -huh. Let's see. Your total is a dollar five. Nope, they won. Sixty. Oh, it's a tie. Your total is a tie with the leader. Oh wow, that's spin actually pretty cool because those are rare. Have a spin off. All right. Although the guy the should have won with 80 it's cents, but spin the wheel. he got greedy, I guess. Who am I to complain? All right, here we go. And it lands on, please not like five cents. That'd be hilarious. Oh, oh! 55. Stop on it. I thought wheel. you had 95. All right, this You're is going to be close, folks. Let's we'll see what happens. They didn't even give it a go. They're like, we're just going to barely roll it. Oh boy, I won. Wow, well, I don't Your even know how that's possible the considering they won Sorry, on the first like one, but. I don't know why the guy with 80 didn't say, but hey, alright, I'm going to the showcase because the computer is stupid. There you go. By the way, you know this isn't a real episode because the music isn't blaring as loud as that's it possibly That's true, where you could. can't hear anything. Yeah. Maybe this is actually what it's like from inside the audience. <laughs> alright, here we go, folks. Let's see what we got. So now we're going to the showcase showdown. And you know, this is where you each get your own showcase and whoever bids closer to it without going over wins the showcase. The so showcase. let's see what happens. Each of you has a showcase oh, of beautiful the same prizes person to bid on. Whoever bids for the yeah. Yeah. actual okay. retail price of their own showcase without going over. Landia? Landia. If your Blanda. bid is within $250 Blanda? Blanda? of your own Blanda. showcase, Blanda. you win both Blanda. showcases. This game just likes just putting words together and see what happens. Oh, it's a... Uh, Bathtub! It's oh, it's a it's a story. All right, so a new bathtub. This modernized version of the old-fashioned ball and claw tub comes complete with brush chrome fixtures. Wow, yeah. All right, what else do I get here? Oh, it's an hour clock. Next to climb wants uh, something that'll stand the test of time. It's a clock. Well, we all want a giant grandfather, grandfather clock. clock. Features yeah. age dial and numeric winding Ridgeway clocks. All right. A bad time at a clock, let's see. Oh, and it's a trailer! Now that's something I'm interested in. So folks, remember, if you like Ramsey's and the Vesper, 
if you have an old camping trailer that's in good condition, just give it to us. We'll use it. Oh, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Because we're cheap. You know, I'm going to keep this. We can use a trailer. I'm going to pay like $25,000 on this. Yeah, you need a place to live, don't you? I, I, yeah, I mean, we're dealing with you. Next year, I'm a little word. I might need this thing. I think you'd be good for that nice Christmas bonus. I'm gonna bid. Let's go over. How much do you think? I'm gonna bid like twenty-five thousand dollars, something stupid like that. That sounds about right, sadly enough, because it's a bathtub, a clock. So like, the clock's probably like three thousand on this show. A bathtub, a thousand. That by itself's probably close to twenty thousand. Yeah, twenty. Close. Uh, maybe I should go twenty-six. Yeah. I'd go down to twenty-four, but no, it's your call. No, I'm gonna go twenty-six. I that way, if you fail, I can actually win on mine. All right. And I probably won't get past the actual showcases, so it won't matter. Let's see what happens. All right, now we're gonna watch Vlanda's showcase. Here we go. All right, so what does she have here? Oh, furniture! But I don't hear a uh, splendido. I don't hear the music. You've won furniture. Yeah, the furniture song, where is it? Oh, well, they don't use that anymore, I guess, in this show. Well, you know what? They do, because I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> All right, folks, you heard it. You see this it right there. This is the right real there. music that we're supposed to be hearing right now. Why am I going like, oh, oh luggage, alright, yeah, that's good. Wow, this is such a great showcase. Furniture and luggage, okay. Here's the sad thing, you went first, and you only won a hundred dollars. I guess Wanda didn't win a single No, game. she must have gotten nothing, I, I didn't do well at all. Oh, hey. Oh, it's a trip to Spain, ah, oh, yes. Madrid, nonetheless. We'll fly you to Six Night Stadium, a double room. Including daily breakfast at the Grand Hotel, something or other, located in the wherever, and you get accommodation to really atmosphere and um, something, something, something at the hotel, something. And this, oh wow, what a, I'm glad I got the trailer. My God. The sad thing is, folks, we're not clicking it. It's just going. You don't have no idea. <laughs> All right, she bid nineteen thousand. All right, at nine dollars, the nines are looking at it. Showcase is worth. All right, well, I'm off by nine thousand. Oh, she went over! But we won! You won the showcase! Do you know how bad that is? You went over or went under by 9,000? That's not even competitive. Wow! I saw, alright, so Ramses here won $35,000. Look at this. Uh, 38, actually, including everything I've won. So let's write that down, right? I won 38,740. That was a lot of fun, Vesper. And that's how you play Price is Right. Yeah, well, now it's my turn, son. All right, Change we're going to switch seats here. All right, so now guess who's going to play? Vesper. That's right. That's right. You see how Rams is sitting here? 38, 740. Woohoo. That, that was fun, but I know Vesper is up for the challenge. He's our leader for a reason, and I've been teaching I'm him. wondering if this game keeps adding it, so you have like a million dollars you just keep playing. I don't know. That's a good question. It probably just keeps going. So I've been teaching Vesper everything there is to know about Price is Right. I've been uh, really... I'm definitely not Yop Yop. Nope, Keep not that. Yop Yop. Uh, all right, we're gonna, let's see. Oh, dude, sweet. I, I, I love the reggae hat. Uh, let's just go down to... Uh... You want a different hat? No, I didn't find this. Go, let's go. I like reggae, man. Uh, let's see here. All right, what shirt do you want, though? We Ma got to match. Uh, let's go with uh, green. Long sleeve or short sleeve? Short sleeve. Yeah. Rastafarian mom. Now let's see what attitude you want. You want? Oh, that's what I use. Are you want? <laughs> you want? I like oh. that one, man. The smug face. Oh, that? absolutely. Okay, and now guess what your name's gonna be? It's gonna be Vesper, just so people know who's who here. We got we gotta have uh, ide proper identification for our uh, fans here. Well, you can't use the keyboard. What did that say? Vesper. Vesper. That's right. Hey, if the current avatar and return to the main menu, why yes. By the way, this makes me want to watch Cool Runnings. <laughs> uh, my hero Sanka there, but it's not Sanka, unfortunately. It's me being a Rasty. All right, are we Classic ready? Classic mode. Let's Classic see mode if I can is. do this. Okay, it's up to Vesper now. Now your goal is to get as much money as possible by playing through one complete show. First, you'll come on down on the contestant's row. You have six rounds to win and advance to a pricing game. You know, the contestant's row, what? That's what I say. I'll bet dime to a dollar. My thing I want to bet on is like a block of wood. It's like a dollar. 
Okay, so it's your last chance to pile up that prize money. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can even get past the one bit mode. Yeah, I, d I don't hold great hopes for this. Well, this is going to be fun, folks. That's why you watch our show, because you want to see Vest and Rances be a little competitive, but we always do it in a friendly manner. That's the thing about the show. We're never going to be at each other's throats for fighting. We do this in fun, and we try to work together, and that's why... Well, you're going to think I'm a true Rastafarian, well, because my bids well. are going to make you the think I'm high. Ah, that's the coming down, is it? Come on, Hey, guys, I'm wearing today. a shirt. I love this game. Wow, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's our prize. It's an off-road vehicle. Wow, look at that. That looks like a lawnmower. Uh, it's a, it's a something or other. That's probably an electric one, too, because look at it. It doesn't... I don't see any... All right, what's Jessica going to bid? 1525. Flippe? We're at 1833. All right, so you know it's going to be in the thousands. Well, yeah. Laugh. All right, so Vesper, what are you going to bid here? 1834. All right, he's doing the, uh, what do we call that? The jerk move where you just use their bid and up it by one, right? Yep. All right, 1834, right? Yep, that's the highest. All right, he's doing it, folks. He's doing the, haha, I got the highest bid bid. All right. You know what the worst is on the old show when people did two dollars under the highest bid? Didn't you always hate when people did that? You ever understood why they did? It? All right, hit okay. Let's see what happens. This item's actual retail price is. All right, you're going on up just like that. Wow. He did it, folks. I want something that. You want a riding thingy? thingy. Looks like a lawnmower, like you said. It doesn't even look like a real four wheel. I know you drive that. People can live. Oh, can you mow my lawn, Vesper? That's a great lawnmower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. <laughs> All right, so what game is he going to get? It could be any pricing game. Let's see what he got. I got Punch a Bunch. What's he going to get? I want the Yodeling one. Yo, lady, who is No, you got the checkout game. Oh, this is tough. You got to add up values of price. Oh, this is going to be tough for you, man. So you got to guess the price of each item. And if you're within $2 of the target, then you win. You win the prize. Okay. All right, let's see what the prize, pri uh, the uh, items are. Yes. Here we are. It's Hot Pockets. Have cheesy baked into the crust, enter a price. So how much do you think the Hot Pockets are? So I'm trying to remember, hot I pockets. cannot go above or... You can go anywhere, you just have to be within $2 of what they actually cost. When all is said and done, you have to be within $2 of the actual Two cost. Two four cheese, uh, God bless it. Hot Pockets, right? Prices have changed so much in 12 years, they're nowhere near what Well, these aren't $10, there's only three prices. Uh, I'm going, I'm going to go, uh, five bucks. I don't think of that one. Do I go five dollars? I'm a I'm a Rossi. I bid high. All right, he's got five dollars for the hot pocket. These are some hot pockets. All right, so let's see what do we got next. Ah, Phillips. Phillips for comfortable, cramp-free relief of constipation. Two dollars. It works more naturally to help you feel like you need to use as directed. Two dollars for the constipation pill. All right. Is that cool? You hear the old style music in the background? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so what else do we got here? Ah, the Energizer. Easy change, any place in a good... Oh, it's a hearing aid battery. Those can be expensive, yeah. Hearing aid batteries. Three dollars. Three dollars. Notice how he's not using any sense here. He's a, he's just a, a singles type of guy. Yeah, that's it. I like to keep things simple. All right, three dollars for the Energizer battery. There he goes. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, Purina Cat Chow. Indoor formula. Contains wholesome grains and garden. Complete. That's the uh, Purina Cat how Chow. How big of a bag is it? Uh, let's see, uh, it's a one pound bag, it looks like. Oh, so just a one pound bag? Well, I mean, it's one of those huge vertical bags, I don't know. Uh, uh wait, well, let's ask, uh, Rich, how, how big is the bag? Uh, it's a standard size catch out, the premium edition. All right, so it's one of the larger bags there, Well, if But it's only, it's only three, you know, you only do up to nine dollars. So obviously, it's not more than nine Four dollars. All right. You, don't want, any, you been... don't want any cents? Uh... Put one cent. Okay, so that there you go. That should be the one cent that kills me. He put in the penny, folks. All right, here we go. Four dollars and one cent. All right, now let's find out what the real prices of these prizes were. Yeah, I get this hard game. You get the easy one. Let's see. Fourteen dollars and one cent. This item is worth two forty-nine. I think you said five dollars on that one. Is worth. All right, so that, you switched in there, so you're actually on target. This one. Oh, that was high. Let's see the value of this item. Ah. Uh, no, you're way off. A difference of too bad. You lost the game. You messed up on the third item. What was I didn't, that? Was that I didn't realize they were an $8 item. <laughs> All 
All right, so now we move on to the wheel. All right. So do you want a hard spin, an easy one? Oh, wait, you have to let him talk. Okay. Just flick on the wheel. With All right, here we go, guys. Spin to win. You win $1,000 and the chance at extra money. It's time to spin the wheel. All right, there it goes. Let's see what Mr. Well, that wasn't the biggest spin I could get. Let's get the thousand. Maybe we can get a good ten thousand. That'll make up for everything here. Let's see. That'd be hilarious if I did. Ninety-five. That would have been good. Fifty. Eighty-five's good. No. Like what are you gonna do? I'm going to spin. All right. Take your spin. I'm going to go by the rules. I always say I other people should. If you get fifty, you spin. Hey, here we go. Spin to win. Here we go. That's right. Oh, well, that was a good spin. I wasn't even trying to on that one. Oh, he used his finger. I don't know. Stop at 45. Stop at 25. Stop at 5. Hopefully. Oh, you're out. Ah, uh, wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Sorry. Better luck next time. that it? That's it, folks. Uh... Yeah, I told you. Uh, I lose. But you won $2,199. I won something I had no idea what I was bidding on. Well, now it's Price is Right. We're going to do this again. If you guys like this, we will have a rematch and we'll do it again. The thing with Price is Right, there's like 100 pricing games. So every time you play, you know you're going to get a different pricing game. That's the fun thing about this. So what do we got? We got Punch a Bunch and Checkout. Like two random games. So let us know what you thought of Price is Right. That was just a little fun. We want to get some game shows on here. We know you guys like them. And we're going to fill them up with some game shows now. Why not? There's so many out there. I think it's fun just to have some fun doing this. So let us know what you thought. So yes, Rams just won this match, but we're going to have a rematch eventually. This is such an easy game to play. 20 minutes. And look at that. We had a whole uh, session of price. And it, if you don't go over, apparently the computer will do everything in its power to make you win. Well, I have to admit the computer helped me there. They had 80 cents and he spun again. I don't know what he was thinking there. That was a little... Strange, but hey, I, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, as I say. I think you might have hacked the game before I jumped on here. <laughs> I what do you think, folks? Ramsey's cheating? Say so in the comments. <laughs> and we'll see you all next time on Vestas Retro Reviews. Thanks for joining us for our Price is Right Challenge. That was a lot of fun. If we can get other versions of Price is Right, we'll do that. There is a decades version I want to try. That's where you can play like old school Bob Barker Price is Right with new graphics. That's a lot of fun. But for now, we're going to keep to the DS because this is just so easy. You flick your finger and the whole thing works. It's great. But I will say this. They better have a lot of options in here. Because if they don't, you're eventually just going to memorize everything. That's true. And that's the problem with some of these games. It does get where there's not enough selection and options. And then it just starts repeating, repeating. And then you know everything. And then the whole game is pointless. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and... Ring that bell. See you all next time when the price is right. Right, Vester? Oh, absolutely. And the price is always right. That's right. Let's hear let's hear that theme as we work our way out of here. Take care, everybody. Hey, look, he's going down to the audience to shake people's hands. Oh, I guess they I all guess lost. Oh, everyone lost. Yeah, yeah, it was one of those episodes. Nobody won. That's what happens when they lose uh, Drew or Bob in the old days. We go down and shake everyone's hands because there's nothing to show you on stage. They were both went over. Ah. Uh, oh, well, that's it. Don't feel so bad. Everyone lost this one. Oh, I'm not too worried about it. After all, for your winnings... I'll just go talk to my friend, the Pepsi Monster, and maybe he can persuade you to give me your, uh... My trailer? Uh, you know, uh, you know, harder for, for that trailer? You can't do that. Best way, you know what?